Hello everyone, and we are back! Gaming by Gaslight, and as we continue our search through the bowels of hell that is this site in in Penumbra Necrolog. Oh. Okay. I so far, nothing too scary has been going on. Alright, it's welded. Okay. okay, stop scaring me like that, Mr. Chair, if you're a little dr Oh god. I think this blood is mine. That's where I was knocked out that fateful day. Wait, what? This is where we came in? Which means back this way leads into the mines. Wow. I have to be honest, that's awesome. I'm not really sure why my hands are facing the other way, though. Or wait, what is did the hall I just came down from? Where? Oh. Yeah, this is where I... This is it! I believe. This is like where... This is going that way. This is from the end of Penumbra Overture. Just after you kill Red, you can finally leave. Nothing has changed since then. There is no turning back. This is true. There, There is... This is just a nice little, I guess, reference. That, why did this door close? Why are these lights on? Sorry for that. This is pretty much exactly how Penumbra Overture ended. There's a hall. You see some... The lights all go out. Hold me, everyone. Oh god, I can't turn my flashlight on. Hello? 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 Better not be any spooky monsters down here. Oh god, I'm feeling... Oh god. <laughs> Let me turn the lights on. And of course, if there is any monsters, they can see me coming. Oh god. Hello? Oh man. I am f freaking out here, guys. Won't let me turn the lights on. <laughs> or my flashlight on. Oh, thank God. Please, please don't let there be anything here. Oh, thank goodness, it's just the wind. Oh my God, game. Don't scare me like that. Now you just arbitrarily let me turn my flight. So, was there any point in going down there? I don't think I picked anything up. I guess that whole segment was just for the sake of having a reference to the last Penumbra game, I think. Unless there was something down there and I completely missed it. Eh, we'll, we'll find out. Maybe I missed something, maybe I didn't. I'm definitely gonna do something to patch that up. And come on, it can't be that hard to just reach on in there and grab the crowbar, can it? Okay. What was that? I heard a I heard a less pleasant sound in addition to the coughing. What's this? Two is the morgue. I don't want to go to the morgue. So, uh, let's not go to the morgue. Okay. Yeah, let's... Yeah, let's wander on in here. 
Okay, he's he's still human. That's good. Um What is... What is the syringe for, exactly? I do not know. All I know is that I want to get the heck out of here. And part of that... Hmm... Okay, we have walked all the way in circles around this whole place. Hmm... Yeah. I don't really know. Let's see. Yeah, this is back the way we came, right? Yeah. So we've already checked all these rooms. We'll double check them again anyway. Hmm. Excuse me? This just leads into here. This switch doesn't work. My nose is itchy. And... Yeah. And we keep going ever deeper. Because that's just what this game likes to do to us. Okay. So we're going back because I want to see what, if anything, I can learn from this tape cassette we picked up last time. Okay. So, where's the tape recorder? There you are. Oh, come on! Are you seriously going to tell me that I couldn't just take that out? That's where we came through. Yeah. I don't think there's any point in tr Well, then again, you know what? There might be some reason in going up to that vent. I forget whether in Requiem, if uh, getting up there was just to find, like, a bonus, or if there was any actual practical reason to going up there. Okay, so we climbed into the little vent. Ta-da. You know, I am sort of wondering if... Like, there's certain items that we could have picked up but didn't, or items we did pick up but maybe shouldn't have, that would have... That will have... I'm kind of... Yeah, I guess where I'm going with my sort of half-coherent ramblings there is... Will there be multiple endings in this game? Like, if I had been more vigilant in picking up some things, or not others, or whatever, if we could have had any kind of effect. Okay. So a flare and some extra batteries. That is useful. I'm glad we got that. I mean, overall, hasn't, in the grand scheme of things, it hasn't changed our situation too dramatically, but hey, it's resources we did not have earlier. We didn't really get anything done there, but we did pick up a couple extra resources. And that is important in its own way. But I have not, as of yet, figured out what we're trying to do here. Hello? Why are you here, Mr. Box? I can't move you. It's like you're stuck for some reason. Though I do remember some of this again from a number of Requiem. I think. I think I do. Maybe my mind is just creating false memories that I never really had. Hmm. But I mean, there was nothing here. What am I trying to accomplish at this point? Maybe our notebook has some advice. 
Let's see here. To-do list. Nope. Uh, the construction site. Strange formula. Archives. Letter from Red. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, depending on how all this goes, I may just kind of mingle this in with... No, not quite right. No, that's still not right. I, I'm obviously supposed to turn that off. Am I supposed to do this? Or wait, if I were to do this... No. I feel like I'm probably supposed to put something in there. <coughs> Mess Hall Morgue, North Wing, Residential Sector, <coughs> Infirmary. Hmm. Did I miss anything in here last time? What's that? Why do you keep saying that? You're honestly scaring me when you say that. Like, do you not recognize your own reflection there, Phil? What's going on here? There's a lot of stuff going on that I'm not understanding right now. And I'm honestly getting just a little bit flustered. I mean, I tend to get a bit flustered when I can't figure something out right away that I feel should be obvious. And I feel that whatever's going on here should be obvious, but I can't figure out what I'm supposed to do. And this is why I really need to use the flashlight more. Look at that. I think we turned that off. And it was just sitting there right on the wall. Little, uh... Yeah. Hey there, Mr. Turngate. Okay. This muscle relaxant... It is a muscle relaxant, isn't it? You. That was a squishy... Ew. You're not gonna get up, are you? Excuse me. I hope not. Dum-de-dum-dum, dum-dum, diddly-dum-dum, dum-dum. Oh boy. Dum de dum 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 da diddly dum dum. Di diddly dum 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 di 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 dum. You still there, Mr. Guy? Okay, he's he's still there. Yeah, my sense of time is completely messed up now. For a moment, I thought I was back at the place from my nightmares. When I crossed the threshold, I saw the same corridor, the same walls. With my step forward, I dashed all my hopes and doomed myself to eternal wandering. I've been walking in circles. I'm trapped! Oh god. Is this... No. No! Oh god. This... is the room I hid in... in... Penumbra Black Plague when the Turngate first appeared. Because I remember you walk into this room or something like that and then, you know, you get a little cutscene indicating someone coming in and then you have to hide behind here. I'm pretty sure Clarence is in your head talking to you at that point. I think. No, he, oh, jeez. Music's getting really anxiety-inducing. There is no movement on the straight line. The movement is always cyclical. But where are you going now? Are you going there now? Whence you came from and then back again here and there. <laughs> and during this fascinating journey, you listen to your girlfriend's annoying messages. If we're close, we've almost met. Only you will meet them. At best, they'll die, and at worst, me and you. You bastard, Clarence. 
How dare you say those things? Your attempts to get out are like trying to get a coin from the bottom of a swamp. Hey, it can be done. All you need to do is dredge that swamp. Screw the wildlife and environment. I'll get that coin. I'll get that shiny penny from you, Clarence. I haven't forgotten it. You know what? Screw it. We're going in here. This is the vent we escaped from. Ooh. Was it just me or did the lighting change ever so slightly? Probably just because we're all... Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm actually doing pretty good on batteries. Oh boy. Oh, we had the arrows from the last guy who managed to escape. Ah! Now that's what I call a proper scream. A proper scream. I'm I'm happy. <laughs> Salvation. Salvation is at hand. But yeah, I'm completely messed up with my time here. I mean, I, I should I know I should know by now not to do this recording two episodes at once. Oh. Like, as one thing, I should have broken everything up into, or just stopped recording at the end of the last episode. Okay. Yeah, that wouldn't disappear by itself, would it? That would have been nice, though. Can we get some Faderade? Mountain Stew? I don't know. Anyway. Collapsed, watch your steps. Of course, of course. Because nothing can ever go according to plan. Oy. Man. I have to be honest, I am impressed by just... I mean, I suppose it's possible they just were able to rip the... That's how I solved that puzzle last time? Okay, well, guess we have to go this way. I don't, I don't, don't really, I believe, actually now that I think about it, in, um, yeah, in Black Plague, this area, I think, is where you get your first sort of encounter from behind the safety of walls and all that, uh, you're not alone and get an idea of what you're faced with, I think. It's been a while since I played that game. be making too much noise either. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. We don't have a key either. But we do have a crowbar! Ah ha ha! Oh, I can actually use that. And it broke. Poor Mr. Crowbar. Nope. Who did that? Who's there? Actually, hopefully no one's there. I'm, uh... I'm a man of peace, I'm done killing. Nope, no one's here. You guys did hear that, right? The whole, who dare? No one's here. The only thing that would have made that more hilarious would be if we walked in, closed ourselves in, turned around, and saw that we weren't alone in here after all. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. Just, just give it a moment. Can I uh, turn it now? <clears throat> Ow! Uh. Ooh. <laughs> and there I got. I thought we were stuck. We are stuck. I can't get out! So do I have to find, like, a glove or something? Here, I'll just... Hmm. I don't exactly know how that one's supposed to work. I think what we will do, though... Try to find a save point, if possible. Oh, 
Hopefully there's not a scary, spooky monster hanging around. Like, I wasn't just crazy, I did actually hear something go, Who dare? Right? Like, there were noises. Oh, what's this? A note. Or a rag of some kind. Oh, that's obviously how we... Unless, maybe it was coming from here. Yeah, it's probably for the best that's jammed. Hopefully it stays jammed. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. Dum 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 dum. Dum dum. Get fit. Come on, it's not rocket science, Philip. I'm jeez. All right. There we go. Oh, okay. Oh. And the game saved. So that seems like a good place to wrap things up. So for now, uh. Thank you all for watching again, everyone. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot. And uh, I'm sorry we didn't really make that much progress this episode, but hopefully next time we can, you know, move forward by leaps and bounds and break the cycle and get the hell out of this god-awful Arctic base thing with all the horrible monsters. Unless we've become a monster ourselves. I'm, I'm kind of expecting that's going to be the plot twist at the end. And I'd be okay with that. that. That would not bother me at all. But I will see you guys next time.